Hey folks, the guy here is a Honda Civic, a 2013. Customer complaint is a little weird about starting with the battery, but it starts. And also every once in a while, you see the headlights flicker and the dashboard, some things over there kind of like flickering. All right, so the battery is maybe two years old, give or take. The alternator was two years old and it was charging. When you put the meter on, it shows that it's 12 volts. But this is kind of weird. Those those alternators, you don't you don't bench test them. So you can't bring it back to AutoZone and bench test it. it has to be done with some special tools and stuff like that. Matter of fact, there is a little tag in the back of it. You can see with the little uh, yellow with the red stop sign. I'm gonna see if I can get one from AutoZone and take a picture of it and I'll show it to you at the end of the video. But anyway, <clears throat> it showed 12 volts that it was charging. Remember the computer controls a lot of the charging system and also this item right here. That's called a battery sensor. It's located on the negative side of the battery. It has a plug-in over here and it has a negative battery cable over here. So this is the old one that was in there. Right, so it's a possibility that this went bad. I know a lot of Hyundai cars, they go bad and that usually comes with the negative cable. So this one's available separately. AutoZone sells it for $253. Got this one off of Amazon for about, I don't know, a little less than 50. Depends on where you buy it from. A lot of people have it. <clears throat> but anyway, like I said, I was gonna take the alternator out and have it tested to verify that it didn't work. But since they don't test it anyway, bench test it because it tells you that you can't. It's under warranty. So what I did was I just replaced it. Yeah, so I replaced it. So it's the same thing I have in the check, right? But uh, yeah, it's still at 12 volts charging, all right? Plus I changed the belt, it was bad. After two years, it cracked already. But anyway, back to the battery sensor. The battery sensor is exactly what it sounds like. It senses the condition of the battery and it should tell the computer, which tells the alternator how much to charge. All right, so $253 from AutoZone. I got this online. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna check out the, there's only two pins in there. So I'm gonna try to use a multimeter and see what the difference between the old one and the new one is before I go and install it. Cause there's no way to check that. I don't, I don't know how to check that. What's in there? There's a resistor or anything like that. What sensor? I mean, you can see it's pretty corroded. It's actually cleaned up more than what it was before. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna put a meter on it and we'll see what it reads. All right, so let's do that. All right, here we go. Let's do this Fugazi setup over here. And we'll see what this sensor reads. All right, so I'm gonna grab the terminal right here by the battery, hold it nice and tight. And hold it in this position here. I'm gonna do the left pin first and then the right pin. All right, let's see what it reads. There's the left pin. 2.2, this is the right pin. 3.1 all right this is the old one let's do the new one now same thing left pin first two .0. right pin two point one so the new one is pretty close to each other two point oh and two point one the old one had a big difference Remember what the old one was? Let's do it again, watch. Left pin, left pin, 2.2, right pin, 3.2, 3.1, see? All right, so there is a difference between the old one and the new one. So we're gonna install the new one and we'll check the charging system and we'll see what happens. All right, because new battery, new alternator, you know the belt is on, so it's spinning. So let's go. Let's see if it solves the customer's problem. 
like I said, the computer controls everything because you've changed everything else already, unless it's in the wiring. All right, so let's do it. Let's install it and we'll be on our way. All right, here we go. Let's install that. I took a wire brush and I cleaned up the terminal for the, for the battery cable. Use the original nut. I'm going to tighten that up. Like that. Okay. Nice and tight. Okay. The connector. Put that on there like that. Make sure you hear it click. And we'll put the battery terminal on. This piece goes on this uh, battery stud. I guess that's what holds it. So we've got this little cover here to cover it. That terminal. Alright. Push that down as far as it goes. I'm going to tighten this up. Alright. That is that. That is that. Clean all the tools out of the way. I'm gonna go start it up and check this charging system. All right, so let's do that. All right, we started it up. Turn on the lights, and the charging is perfect. See it? Before it was in 12 volts, right there. All right, so yeah, battery current sensor. That is the problem with this one, okay? But like I said, battery was checked out fine, alternator checked out fine. And thank goodness for AutoZone's warranty. No questions asked. Return it, get a new one. Best thing. You won't get that at any other stores, uh, especially the other one where you have to mail it back and stuff like that. But, okay, there it is, it's charging. Perfect, battery sensor, there it is. That could be the reason why the headlights were flickering, radio was flicking, everything was going haywire. Okay, thanks for watching people. Honda Civic out. Ciao, thanks for watching. All right, here's that little decal on the back of that alternator that I wanted to show you, but I had already installed it. You see, it says the proper electrical test can only be tested on the vehicle. Warranty is void if placed on the bench tester. So even these guys at AutoZone, Mr. Jake. Hello. Uh, yeah, you can't test it. It has to be tested on the car, because remember on a Honda, the computer controls the charging besides that little uh, battery sensor that I told you about. All right. So that's it. Thank you to, to the new AutoZone here in Aberdeen. Thank you, Jake. No problem. All right. Ciao. Thanks for watching. This is the current sensor that I got from Amazon. If that helps you out. Okay. No other markings on the box. That's the baby.